Many small manufacturers entered the battleneck industry as tensions mounted near the time of the fall of the Star League. In this period, Hartford Co., a known manufacturer of fine communications and targeting systems, began constructing mechs from their home planet of Bryant near Earth. Their single contribution to battlefield technology was the Cicada, which went into limited production in 2840. With Bergen Industries holding almost a complete monopoly on the contracts for small recon mechs, Hartford Co. proposed a mech heavier than the Locust made by Bergen. It would be armed with the well-proven Magna Laser system and be as fast as the Locust but weighing twice as much. Most importantly, the price was right. The Star League took a limited contract for the Cicada, shipping it to replace many of the Locusts lost in border areas. The Cicada's speed is one of its major assets. As a light recon mech, it can cover great distances in a short time. Moreover, the mech's armour and weaponry make it a serious foe in circumstances where a Locust might fail. The reliability of the weapons and their tracking systems is also well established. The Hartford Co. heat sinks proved to be of an inferior design, however, tending to wear out and fail to perform to full capacity after extended use. If not repaired, the sinks will vent only 60% of the heat transferred in a combat situation. Though many Cicadas currently in use have replaced the original heat sinks with modular sinks, a number of defective Hartford Co. sinks are still in use. With their base of operations and only Cicada factory located on Bryant, Hartford Co. was among the many victims of the fall of the Star League and the onset of the Succession Wars. Although the factory was destroyed, there were a number of built Cicadas in storage on Bryant, and its relative position compared to the five successor states meant the planet was the target of many raids. Thus, the Cicada found its way into all of the major house armies, where in service to the successor lords, the mech earned a positive reputation. Unfortunately, it also meant its expectations sometimes exceeded the design's actual capabilities, and with no new models being produced, the Cicada's numbers began to dwindle. By the end of the Fourth Succession War, the mech was in danger of going extinct. The discovery of the Helm Memory Core allowed the Free Worlds Industries to save the Cicada by restarting production of the mech from their newly refurbished production line on Gibson. The great majority of these newly built Cicadas went to the Free Worlds League military, particularly Federal units, which were in desperate need for recon mechs after the loss of so many machines during their long battle with Andurian. The chassis was also the perfect platform to apply many of the now recovered lost tech and improved the CDA-3M being introduced shortly before the start of the clan invasion. New Cicadas were supplied to the Federated Commonwealth and Draconis Combine as part of an agreement to combat the clans, and as reports filtered in from the front, more variants of the mech were produced.